What is up, you guys? Mental Hog back here for episode 7 of our FC24 Manchester City career mode, where we have breezed past Borussia Dortmund in the first leg of the Champions League quarterfinal. We have a 3 0 advantage there, and the Premier League, we are ahead by one point with 10 games or so left to play, and Tottenham are hot on our tail. We cannot afford to drop points, we cannot afford to lose, we cannot afford to lose momentum, and we are still on track for a second treble in a row here at Manchester City. So I'm looking forward to continuing to fight on for that. I hope you are as well. If you are, drop your support in the comment section down below. Tell me what you think about this team, what you think we should do next. And uh, don't forget to like the video as well. And subscribe if you're new around here. Help me push towards 3,000 subscribers. Let's see if we can hit that by the end of this year. And let's get on with the video here. We've got the second leg against Dortmund to play at home. We're going to rotate quite a bit for this second leg as well. Matoma and Doku are going to start. Mateus Nunes is going to start. Guardiola is going to start at left back. You know what? I'm actually also going to not play Erling Holland in this game. I'm going to go ahead and put on Evan Ferguson in the starting striker spot. And we'll see if Holland gets some minutes off the bench because we are really far ahead after this first leg. Eddie Head welcomes Borussia Dortmund for the second leg of the quarterfinals here in the Champions League. Can Manchester City breeze through to the next round of this competition and try to win their second Champions League in a row? Starting off with Matoma from kickoff. Oh my god. By the way, I've continued to mess with the settings. We're still playing on World Class because that's what I want to play on. But there's uh, been an update to the OS sliders, so we're messing with those. And Evan Ferguson is messing with a chance on goal there. So yeah, I'll let you know how that goes. But wow, Sebastian Haller, you want to hang out and chill, bro? Looks like maybe Dortmund have not given up hope just yet because, yeah, they're coming at us with everything they've got. It's Baney here on the left-hand side looking to play something back inside here. Find Sebastian Hilaire. Hilaire bounces it off of John Stones. It's another corner for Dortmund. It's been all Dortmund in the attack so far. The corner played in here for Dortmund. Oh my god, it actually gets onto somebody's head there. I think that's Schlotterbeck. It's just wide. Actually saved. Now for another corner. Here it comes again. Daniel Malin this time. Trying to loop the keeper. Calvin Phillips forced to clear that out for a third corner in a row here for Borussia Dortmund. The fans are biting their nails. Oh. Oh, Matoma wins that back. Evan Ferguson's got this in a dangerous position do something with this here. De Bruyne holding it up. Getting it back out for Matoma. Getting it to Mateus Nunes. Looking for Frimpong here. Frimpong's in space. I'm going to have the shot. That was not too bad, you know. But Kobol saves that pretty easily. Looks like we're headed into stoppage time in the first half here, and it's Dortmund to get one more chance. Mateus Nunes does well to stick a foot in there, but it's not over yet. Daniel Mullen looks to bring it inside, and Ederson makes another big save. I'm not lying when I say it's been Dortmund completely dominating this whole half. And it doesn't end there because from the corner they score. I didn't even I didn't even think anything of that. But Sebastian Allaire picks up a great pocket of space. I don't know how he found space like that in our box from the corner. But yeah, Dortmund kind of back in this game now. It's not as simple as over yet. Let's just watch this again. I think it's Malin who plays in the corner. Schlotterbeck or whoever's number 20, Marcel Sabitzer, heads it. Kind of trying to go across the box here. And uh, Sebastian Allaire picks it up. Volley's at home. That's going to be Sebastian Allaire's fifth Champions League goal this season, and that's going to take us straight into halftime. It's a 1-0 game here today, 3-1 on aggregate. Nothing to worry about just yet, but you've got to be careful because Dortmund are looking pretty freaking good, actually, so far. I think the biggest issue you need to sort out in the second half here is that I'm just pushing the ball forward too often and too, uh... I don't know what the right word is, but I'm just trying to go forward way too aggressively when I don't really need to. All I need to do is play possession, pass the ball around a bit, uh, get used to these new sliders because they include 100 first touch error. And see, that's what I mean. Those passes right there are just, I don't know why I'm playing them at all. Oh my god, and it's almost a one goal game. Did Ruben Diaz give away a penalty? What happened? I just, I just watched Ederson make the save and all of a sudden they've got a penalty. What's going on? Ruben Diaz apparently puts in a challenge on Lucas Vasquez and that's enough for a pen off the ball? Okay. Spitzer comes off here. Sebastian Haller is going to take the penalty. Not a lot of power, so I feel like it's going to go up the middle. And for some reason, Ederson dove. And now it's a one-goal game. We could see an interesting end to this Champions League quarterfinals just yet. And when the game is looking the way it is, we need Holland and we need Grealish up top to help me control the game and maybe actually find a run in behind for once. I think we've got a better set of players on the field now to help me deal with the situation we find ourselves in. But all of a sudden, Dortmund are within one goal of extra time. Holland up a pocket of space here has a pop oh it wasn't too far you know it wasn't too far probably the best chance we've had the whole game I think the Mecha is coming off from Marco Royce so Dortmund are going to give this every single thing they have they come once again 
Vasquez now. Oh, takes the strike. Goes through the side netting, but thanks to Ederson, another save. Man, this is all of a sudden an intense one. Okay, Holland's got the ball in a nice spot here. Gets it to Doku. Doku can slide on through. Doku can play it to Holland. Holland, score this goal. Seal it for us. Okay, Holland scores in the 73rd minute, and that is probably going to be the goal that wins us this tie and this game against Dortmund. Guardiola wins that well. Oh, they go sliding in. Going to be aggressive in the last 20 minutes or so here because they know what's at stake. They don't want to exit the Champions League just yet, but Holland might make it another one. Koble with a huge save. That was just so close to being another goal. Diaz, wow, Ruben Diaz has the ball in a nice space out wide here. Grealish, can he curl one home? Ooh, goes near post, but Koble is ready. Marco Royce, he's a danger man. Guardiola's ready, oh my god. Guardiola is a beast, absolute beast. Play him at left back, play him at center back, play him anywhere. Doku sees the run from Kevin De Bruyne. De Bruyne opening up space for a shot from wide. That had so much power on it. Wow, Koble, big save. To play in another corner here. Picked up some steam near the end of the second half, and John Stones gets on that. Long. Yes, Stonesy wins it back to Doku. Doku to Holland. Holland looking for somebody to overlap. It's going to be Nunes. First time shot, and that's going to be another goal. It's going to be 5-2 on aggregate. And I was worried for a while there, but in the end, it ended up being a worry for nothing because Mateus Nunes seals it with a kiss at the Eddie head. By the way, this through ball from Holland, no joke. Nice pass. Don't know where their defenders are, though. We're near the end of stoppage time here. Doku trying to make one last run. Can we add insult to injury? Injury time. Erling Holland looking inside again. Jack Grealish, first time shot. Blocked, second time over the bar, and that's going to be it. 5-2 on aggregate. It was a little bit stressful. I'm not going to lie to you. There was a moment there where I really thought that Dortmund might have been able to get back into this even more than they already have. But Holland came on the pitch and scored a goal and got an assist to secure us through to the semifinal. Taking a look around the rest of the Champions League in the quarterfinals here. And uh, RB Leipzig knocked out Atletico Madrid. So we could be playing up against our group mates again. Napoli knocked out Benfica. 1-0 on aggregate. And then Manchester United knocked out Bayern Munich on penalties. That would be crazy. If we came up against United or Leipzig at some point here, it would be very interesting. Speaking of coming up against United here, we're actually going to be doing that in the FA Cup semifinals right now. It's a Manchester Derby and a North London Derby in the FA Cup. This is looking like a great competition. We could be facing off against North London rivals in Arsenal or Spurs in a final. Should we be United? I mean, the first step is obviously to get past them. A huge game, but uh, they didn't manage their stamina super well in the Champions League. To be fair, we didn't either. We've got some tired players, but they've got Rashford, Fernandez, Alvaro, Morata. They've got Tamori at the back, and uh, got a fraud and goal. But we're not going to talk about that. We're just going to play. For this one, we're going to go ahead and start even some of the tired players that just played in the Champions League. But one difference is Phil Foden is going to be starting this game at Wembley against Manchester United. Let's go through to a final and continue on our quest for a second successive treble. Erling Holland versus Alvaro Morata up top. I think we all know the favorites of this one are. Wow, Marcus Rashford has the touch of a donkey, but for some reason Ederson wanted to play that out for a corner. I guess maybe that came off of one of our players, and that's why. I don't know why he ran so hard at that ball. Short corner here, though, for United. You know what that means. One, be careful. Two, look for a chance to spring on the counterattack. Amrabat! Whoa, be careful, be careful, be careful. Rashford hits the side netting. What the heck was that? Not gonna lie, probably the weirdest corner routine I've ever seen any team do. Almost worked out, actually. Short here. Incredible pressing from the bat, from the front from my team because Juan Bissaka had nowhere to go. Still, they have nowhere to go. And Erling Holland's got space for a strike. Yeah, Phil Foden wasn't making the run I wanted. I could have passed it off to him, but I just didn't get him running in the right space. Shaw. Run of a lifetime here. He's going to look to pass inside here or take the shot himself. Vardy will clear this out. Well, nice touches there. To get it to Erling Holland And Phil Foden, oh, he is just clean through on goal now here. Clean through on goal. Gets inside Lissandro Martinez. He's going to go that way. Phil Foden is back from injury and back in form, baby. We're 1-0 up against Man United at Wembley. It's the golden boy, the star boy. The new gas point is here. Oh, Rodri, yes, sir. Put in, winning the ball back. Bernardo Silva gets it to Phil Foden, and he's gone again. He is gone again. Phil Foden, what are we doing? We're going to pass it to De Bruyne, who's going to shoot first time. That's saved. Bernardo Silva's going to keep it. Get it to Phil. Phil, can you curl it past somebody? No. But Erling Holland can maybe get it to Jack Grealish. Not sure what style Manchester United are playing here because they've never got players to pass to. Grealish, open goal, buddy. Come on, just shoot and score. What are you doing? Uh-oh, now Rashford's through. Rimpong is definitely a bit tired. He's probably going to need to come off at some point in this game. But right now, he's got to track back and deal with Marcus Rashford, who's running through the goal. Passes it inside to Morata. 
Peraza takes the shot, palmed away. Hernandez, luckily, was there because otherwise on the rebound, somebody was ready. The one thing about United is that their front line is pressing really, really narrow. So I've got lots of passing options all the time around the back. So I guess I may as well take advantage of that. Wait till they force a the midfielder up like they're doing right now. And then I've got space to work with. Uh, but Bernardo can't get a pass off. But thankfully, that should be probably the end of the first half, right? Nope. Are they going to give him the attack after all? Yep. Looks like they get their last attack. On the soccer on the ball, I should never be worried about. Anthony, though, I should be. That's going to be it. Okay, first half is over. We are up 1-0. Right now, it's looking like we're going to go through to a final here at Webley. But United have not been absent. I'll say that much. They could totally do something in this game if we're not careful. The thing they haven't been able to do stats of the first half has put in any tackles so maybe we should use that to our advantage and either force them to or just kind of not bother looks like they're just not worried about pressing across the field switch here to marcus rashford really good move for them because frimpong is just dead tired they've got bodies running in Murata, big challenge played by Guardiol. i know i can rely on that guy it works but right now ooh, this is not looking great oh my god holland holland has got a pass and a half plays it to kevin de bruyne how what did we, how did we do that? I don't even understand how Erling Holland played that pass. That was insane. Is he the next Kevin De Bruyne or something? I, like what is going on with Erling Holland's passing? And by the way, what a finish from De Bruyne! It's the outside of his boot curls like around Onana. No chance of him really being able to get anything on that. That was incredible, incredible from Kevin De Bruyne. I really like this run from Phil. Would like a run from Holland as well. Holland is yet to score in this game. He could now though. Running down on goal. Oh, finesse shot didn't quite work out well because it was a good height for Onana. We'll get a corner from it. And I think now is probably a good time to go ahead and sub off Frimpong and maybe Guardiol as well. I know he's incredible defending for me, but they're tired. We've got big games coming up, so got to take advantage of the subs that I can. Also going to go ahead and bring on Matoma. That's going to be my last one. Three subs on right now, at least for right now. We've got about 20 minutes left in the game, so maybe there's time for more. Ashford looking for a pass inside, finally finds one in the cross. Wasn't that bad, but she dealt with well. Now Matoma. Oh, just straight through the middle. Or is that what we're going to do? We're just going to let Matoma come straight through the middle of Manchester United. Finish low and true. Or not. Matoma scores. It's 3-0 in the 80th minute against Manchester United. This has turned into a uh, bad one for him. Not going to lie. It's a little bit embarrassing at this point. I also would just like to point out really quickly that all of three of our goals pretty much have come from just direct counterattacks. From the mistakes United are making going forward. They're just not trying to hold on to the ball and build a good attack they're just trying to like bomb forward and score so here we go again they're committing bodies forward and now Rilling holland gets to score his fourth this is what happens with the fifa ai sometimes they just they try fifa ai fc ai it just this happens sometimes and then i don't know they're just confused yeah sometimes the score lines just get ugly like this because the ai decides to freak and send everybody forward when they're trailing you know a couple goals and then it becomes easy to score four five Okay, I think we might score again here. Nope, not quite out yet. Erickson plays in another cross. It's Rico Lewis versus Rashford, and Rashford wins the header, and uh, they, they score. Don't do that. No, 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 no. Don't do that. You just lost 4-1 and got eliminated. I don't even want to see that, Marcus. Anyways, it's a consolation prize for United, literally right before the full-time whistle. It's going to be a 4-1 win. No clean sheet for us, but I honestly don't care if we get through to the FA Cup's finals. Ooh, baby, and it looks like we're going to be facing off against Arsenal in that FA Cup final after all, so the rivalry continues between Pep and Mikel Arteta. Ooh, that was potentially... Every game we sim is potentially dangerous at this point, and it actually ends up being pretty bad. We'll talk about why in a second there. You can probably already see it, but it's a 4-0 win away against Brighton. Holland, Theo Hernandez, Holland scores twice. Julian Alvarez scores as well, but uh, Kevin De Bruyne gets subbed off at the very beginning of the second half. Not be good at all. Ah, oh, yikes, man. Right at the very end of the season where we have a chance to win something, De Bruyne, of course, has to get injured. He's going to be out for probably his season done. He might be back in time for a Champions League final that we might make, but God, I can't believe that. That's so realistic, too. This always happens. I think what this does mean, though, is that we'll probably end up playing Phil Foden in that central position, despite how good he has been out wide since coming back from injury, and uh, that way we can still be playing Alvarez, Doku, and Matoma plenty out on the wings. I think I think that's probably the way to go. We'll try it. We'll see how it goes. Um, I like that. Potentially be dumb, but we've got big Champions League semifinal game coming up against, I'll tell you who in a second, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to sim this game with a pretty rotated team. I hope this works out well. It's probably gonna be okay, but uh, yeah, it was close. It was close. Won't lie, but Matoma scoring a brace saves us. Three points there once again. First drop points again, drawing against Arsenal. Wow, they don't want to win, do they? Just really quickly, before I announce our opponents for the semifinals of the Champions League, Spurs have dropped points 
twice in this episode so far. So they are just, well, being Spurs, I guess. And now Liverpool are kind of hot on our tail, I guess. They're four points behind us, five points behind us with a game in hand. So if they win that, they'll be behind us by about two points. So we still can't afford to lose games between, between now and the end of the season, but pretty likely that we will actually go four in a row. Now, of course, it's time for me to announce our opponents for the semifinals of the Champions League. Like I said before, Leipzig knocked out Atletico Madrid, Napoli barely get by Benfica, and United get by Bayern Munich on penalties. So we could be coming up against any of those teams, and the team that we come up against is actually the one that we haven't played against yet this season, Napoli. And they've got, as you know, an incredible team. Fred Scalia, Victor Osimhen, and many more. So this is gonna be good. Yeah, like I said, I mean, take a look at their team. It's absolutely incredible. It's not quite the team that it was last season. It's changed a little bit, but still a really good team. OC men and Karaskalia up top are a nightmare. I just know it. Starting 11 is fit. First game's at home. Let's score, I guess, as many as we can. I don't know what I'm I don't know what I'm really thinking about this game yet. I guess we'll have to wait and see. OC men on the ball. Karatskalia getting on the ball and it rolls past us. That was just the P-roller of a finish. And Karatskalia and OC men put Napoli in the lead within 15 minutes. They combined. That was just, what else it was was just absolutely astonishingly bad defending for me. I don't know what's going on. My defense, the back line's all over the place. Right, Scalia has got seven Champions League goals this season, and that is, yeah, that's exactly why I was worried about Napoli. Tano coming inside, gets it to Osimhen. Oh my God, how are they finding the space? Run down this wing, potentially playing a ball here for Holland. Holland's gonna go for the volley? What, what is that? I don't even know what that was, like a side foot volley attempt. I really should deliver this corner. We know he's actually got a good delivery on him. We found that out a couple episodes ago. That is not one of them. Definitely not one of his best, you know, corners at all. Yes, Rodri. Runs it back. Bill Foden. Bill Foden. Finds Julian Alvarez. Julian Alvarez, once again, can play a ball over the top here. Holland. Why does he keep trying to do, like, a side foot volley? What's this all about? Can you go jump in the air? Do, you know, what Holland does? Haven't you guys seen that trailer for FC24? I haven't seen him try to do that a single time. Try and keep him off the ball. That's my goal right now. Rodri. To Holland. Holland's got to run on here. He's got to run on here. He's got to beat. What? Where is his finishing boots, man? Can't find them. Bernardo back pass. To Jack Grealish back inside. Oh, and Bernardo rolls it in. It's going to be one all. That was some beautiful play right there. Bernardo set that whole thing up too. It's nice to see him doing really well for me. He usually is not great in FIFA or FC, but yeah. This year, I don't know what it is. He's incredible. Bernardo keeps the ball low. Scores himself a goal. 40 minutes in, we've got a game on our hands here. It's one all today at the Emirates. At the Emirates? What team do I think I am? At the Etihad. Inside. This is what we have to be careful for. We can't let him and Kvara get too many time to take touches on the ball. We can't give him too much time on him. What the heck kind of challenge was that? That's definitely going to be something of a book. Yep, a yellow card there as well. Potentially a nice run on here for Erling Holland. Oh, it's a great run, actually. Matter of fact, it's a great run, but the finish was lacking again, man. It's halftime. Holland, where are you? There's one thing I know about Erling Holland, though. It's that he would never let missing some chances get to him. He'll just be in the box again. He'll shoot again. He'll try and score again. Bill, find Holland in the Avers here. Oh my god, this has got to be it. It's 2-1. Let's go. Erling Holland scores. We've got the lead at home against Napoli. Let's go. Comes in. Bada gets on it. Plays it to Osiman. Are we joking? Maybe he can play it to... Oh, was he offside? Wait a second. What is that? What is this? He's offside or is there power on this? Get in the back of the net. Oh, it's just over the bar. And is that is that the game over? Just about. I thought maybe it was, but nope. Fast. I don't know why he blew for the free kick here because Matoma was through. I don't know. Maybe he was offside. But 2-1 in the first leg. We'll take that. We'll take an advantage over to Naples. I think that's enough. It's, it's fine margins here. Fine margins. I'm hoping this doesn't come back to bite me in the butt. But first against 20 of your Wolves are dead last in the Premier League. Will they beat us in real life? I don't think they've got what it takes to beat us. So we're going to rotate. This is probably a lot of these players' last chance to like really get a game before we have just super, super important game from here to the end of the season. So we're going to quick sim this. I swear to God, if we drop points, I will not be that upset because it didn't happen. Uh, Doku and Ferguson score. There we go. That's all we need. Just going to continue to glance at this table, and it's looking really, really likely for us to win. Four-point lead against Liverpool. I think if we win against Spurs, I mean, they're, they're pretty surely that's the title season. Fulham, that's all we need. We're heading out with the exact same team in the second leg here. The away leg. Wish their stadium was licensed, of course. It's not, because nothing about the team is licensed. In this one, I'm going to go ahead and keep Phil Foden out wide. I'm going to play Alvarez in the middle. I know it's weird. I know he's not. We know he's doing things just like that in real life. I'm also going to start Matoma, because there were some times when he came off the bench in that last game that I thought he was going to just do incredible things. 
Never got a chance to. I think he'll be able to in this game, but who knows? If not, Grealish is on the bench. With that, we are at the decisive leg of it all. Holland, top scorer, 13 goals in the competition. Can he score more today? We probably need him to if we want to be playing the final. Pong just got knocked to the ground. <laughs> and now Karadon has got all the space in the world. Finds the pass for Labaka. Straight line, gets past that guy. Passes it into who exactly? Aiming for they go for the low shot. Ederson, big save. This is not looking good. Ruben, slide in. I don't care. Do the tactical foul. Get sent off, though. Okay. Still with us. Bernardo to Julian. Julian to Holland. Holland inside. I don't know why I try so hard to get on his left. He's got five strokes of power. Too much power. Ruben gets on it. And it's cleared off the line. Have a pop, son. Why not? Deflection. Oh. Oh, in another world. Could have had something. Less power on it this time. Just three bars. Come on, Alvarez. Oh, that was the closest self. Does he need help? I don't know. It looks like he can do it himself. Julian Alvarez, are you serious? What a freaking goal from the guy. That was, hands down, one of the best solo efforts I've seen. What a perfect time to score that as well. Literally stoppage time in the first half. And we've got a 3-1 lead on aggregate. We're looking good to go through to the finals now again. We've just got so much room. Karu's going to have a shot. To Holland, front post. Oh, just over the bar. We've come close a lot of times in this half. Well, not in this half, but in this game. More power on this. Holland, surely, right to the feet of the guy? Did you see his touch? That's it. I don't know. I'm supposed to touch the ball dead at his feet off the line. What? Power, I think. Too much power. Maybe not. Holland! Holland! Oh my god! Are you serious? It's 4-1. It's over. It's done. We're gonna win the treble again. Oh, finally he scores that goal that I've been waiting for. God, man, it's the title shot. Look, it's the title shot goal. What's up? Oh, come on now. That's beautiful. Bad to worse for Napoli now. Three goals down at home. Well, three down on aggregate. Two down at home today. Raspadori's through. Uh-oh. Maybe not two down. Yep. Nope. 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 It's a 2-4 game on aggregate. There's This is not over yet. There's still time. About 25 minutes. I don't know how my back line did this just like U-shape. And Raspadori was just perfectly in the middle and on side. I, I can't blame anybody, but my defense there. That was a tragic pass from him. Yes. Kauru, come on. That was wide. It's okay. It's okay. You can't do anything wrong. As yes! Oh, you're kidding me. Oh, you're kidding me. He's sitting down defenders with no stamina left. Kovacic, redeem yourself. Score. Oh, that looked close, you know. That's been his best shot yet. Time, four minutes added on. What are we doing? Where are we getting the stoppage time? It's this time. Okay, at least Farah's up there this time. He goes for it. Passing all the way back here. All right. That's going to be it. I mean, if that's what they want me to go through to another final, I'm going to take it. We are going to go to the Champions Again, and the treble dream is still on. Two trebles in a row. Has anybody ever done it? Because it's starting to look like more and more likely. It's going to be a Manchester Derby Champions League final. Wow, I can't wait for that. We've been getting the better of them all season long, and it would be hilarious if they beat us now. Okay, one last game we're going to squeeze into this episode. We're going to sim a Craven Cottage against Fulham, because honestly, I, I could lose this and still win the Premier League. So I'm going to go ahead and risk it, and it's going to pay off to the tune of a 1 0 win. You know what? As long as we by these one goals, I, I don't care. We could already be confirmed champions at this point, too. Depends how Liverpool did. And nope, definitely not. They thrashed Aston Villa 5-1. What a last episode we have planned here for the first season. Here at the top of the table. A win against the Spurs will seal it for us. Liverpool are playing Wolves, I think? No, they're playing Fulham, actually, at Craven Cottage. So they could lose it, Wolf, but um, Spurs have fallen off. Arsenal have fallen off. But we have an FA Cup final against Arsenal. We've got a Champions League final against Manchester United. Four massive games. Literally the entire season has decided one episode here. We could either win a treble or we could win nothing by the end of the season. And that would be totally embarrassing and also probably not going to happen. So if you're excited for that, keep your support coming down below. Drop a like on the video, subscribe if you're new around here, and I'll see you for episode eight, which is going to be the season one finale. Excited to see you guys then. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day and